so what is why backup is required for the databases not only databases if you are working something you need a backups right so why it is required the backup is required here right why the backup is required for the so databases especially for the databases any idea for anyone why backup is required yeah of course in case of any like uh, system loss or system crash so we need to restore the system right so for that we need the backup right backup plus logs right so right exactly correct so and also why we are taking only db backups here why we are only taking the backup of the db the data stored into db level right 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 exactly exactly the same so if you have the memory crash then we have the disk where we have the data file and so log file folders are available <coughs> that we are so taking the backups that's that there we have the second copy is available in case of entire hardware crash entire data center hard hardware crash how to take the backup so normally in a general scenario if you see here this is the this is your hana box right this is your hana box in the hana box this is the ram memory in the hana box this is a ram memory these are the file system this is a ram memory and these are the file systems here this is the ram memory and this is the file systems right we have the file systems means slash and our data slash and our data and slash and our log folders are available here right so the data the data will come to the ram one copy of data will store it here so then after that during the save point interval same copy of data will be saved into the data folder here after the five minutes here after the five minutes same copy of data will be saved into the data folder data folder that will be saved here data folder so then save point here data folder and save point here right so now this slash on our data and slash on our log folder here so in case of in case of ram is the volatile memory when you are stopping the database then entire data will be flushed out ram will be the zero means data which is there will be deleted from the ram but data is there in the data folder we can whenever starting it will be recovered that is the different part we discussed but but in case of your file system or disk format got corrupted in case of entire your hardware got corrupted so there is a natural calamity something is happened from fluids happened entire your data is gone something is happened so your data you, you have data gone but whatever the data is there in the database level all the data will be gone right all the data will be gone so in this case all the data will be gone in this case what and all the things we need to do right what and all the things we need to do here right so slash and our data and slash and our log folder here right so here what we have to do we have to take the backup of the the data folder and the logs the logs will happen the log backup there are the two types of backup data backup and the log backups here backup means taking the data data of data folder taking the log backup there is a log backup here we have the data backup and log backup here so the log folder backup will be done by the log backup data folder there is a data folder backup here there are the two types of backups are there here two types of backups are there here right two types of backups are there here data backup and log backup here so in case of in case of any issues then we can restore it in case of this is crashed this is also crashed then we don't have any data so data loss situations so to avoid this type of issues what we can do we can whatever the data is there here in the backup folder backup we can restore it to the here we can restore it to the here right this is what we have to do it that's why while taking the backup so we have the either file system backup file system backup we can take it out or back int means other device other device there are, third, there are the multiple third party devices are there so back int aws s3 bucket r so azure r so they are the, the control c data centers there are the net app locations so they are the blob so there are the many things are there to store the our our database backups to store the our data backup there are the many 
many many companies many organizations they have to so they are they have the their own tools are there to store it here to store the data so so here what will happen this will take the backup of entire data will keep into the one safe place one safe place it will keep into the one safe place here out of the your network or different network or same network or different network it will keep into the same same place here different data center here same place here so all the data will keep into the here all the data will be stay in this here in case of this is crash we can restore we, whatever the data is there we can restore it back to the here that is what we have to do it as part of the backup and restore method so here how many types of backups we have in the sap how many types of backups we have there in the for the hana database so they are the two types of backups here full db backup and so increment so the delta backup delta backups here full db backup and delta backup here so full db delta backup again has two types here one is the incremental backup incremental backup and again so the differential backup here diff backup differential backup here these are the so types of backups are there here so full db backup full db backup means complete data will be backed up as part of the complete db backup complete data whatever the data is there from starting to till date all the data will be backed up that is called the complete data backup right full data backup backup here the next one is the incremental backup here so incremental backup means either delta backups this is comes under the delta backup here so incremental backup or differential backup we have to take it after the full backup only after the full backup only we have to take the this backup we have to take it out here so now let's see the some example here this is your database right in the database you have the monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday right so here we have the monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday right so we have the seven days in a week right daily backups will run daily backups rate suppose suppose you are planning to suppose monday so your database backup got fill up to here monday up to here maybe 7 200 gb got up to here your database size is the 200 gb right 200 gb so now monday you are taking the full backup monday if you take the full backup what will happen entire data will be backed up entire data will be means this 200 gb starting of the day to this 200 gb data will be 200 gb data will be backed up here right 200 gb data will be so backed up here right so that is the one here right so then once that is done then so here then tuesday to again you are taking that tuesday again full backup you are taking means within one day maybe uh two gb there is a two gb data got increased so then two gb data when you are taking that tuesday so two gb data got increased so then from monday after the full backup how much data got increased two two gb got increased from after the full backup of Monday to till Tuesday, how much data? 2 GB got increased. So here, what will happen here? 200, what will happen? When you are taking the full backup again, this 200 GB means starting of the database to till date. So your data will be taken. That is the full DB backup, right? Means entire data from suppose you are taking here from starting to here, all the data will be backed up. How much data, how much GB is there? total entire gb will be backed up here total database will be backed up here that is called the full database backup here got it right it's clear now right so but tuesday you are not taking the full db backup here tuesday you are not taking the full db backup here tuesday you are taking only incremental backup incremental backup means after the full backup after the full backup 
whatever the data whatever the data is there only that 2 gb only it will take it out that is called the incremental backup that is only called the incremental backup here incremental backup here this is called the incremental backup again wednesday from tuesday to wednesday again another 2 gb got increased another 2 gb data got increased so again and again wednesday you are taking the incremental backup then tuesday after tuesday whatever the data is received only that 2 gb only data means in the last 24 hours whatever the data got increased only that data will be backed up only that data will be backed up here again thursday from here to here whatever the data is there only that data will be backed up only that database will be backed up here that is called the so that is called the so incremental backup here incremental backup here so suppose thursday if you are taking the full db backup thursday if you are taking the full backup means starting of the day to till thursday whatever the data is there 200 gb 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so total 206 gb data will be backed up but if you take the incremental backup on the thursday then tuesday already backup is done then only this 2 gb will be taken here only the 2 gb will be taken here that is the the difference between the incremental backup and sorry the the incremental backup so and so full database backup got it this two you understand right well because the differential backup will get confused here that's why so i am asking it's clear right put the difference between the full db backup and so the incremental backup Sir, incremental backup will follow the last backup, right, sir? Last any backup. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Yes. So, I will explain the, the conditions here. So, when I take the differential backup, when I take the differential backup here. So, suppose on Friday, so here all are the incremental. This is also incremental. This is also incremental backup. This is also incremental backup. So, this is also here you are taking the so differential backup. So Friday, you are taking the differential backup here. Here Friday, you are taking the Friday, you are taking the Friday, you are taking the differential backup. Friday, you are taking the differential backup here. Friday, you are taking the differential backup here. Then what will happen? So differential backup always look the when was the last full database backup completed. Then so it won't take care of the any other uh, manual backups or anything here. When was the last full backup happened? Monday. Then when you are taking the Friday, then it always look the, so Monday, Monday, Tuesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Up to here, the data will be backed up here. Up to here, the data will be backed up. So all the data will be backed up, right? So which means as a condition here, incremental backup always, always look the, the previous, previous backup previous any backup is it successfully completed or not differential backup always look the look the last full db backup only last full db backup only so both the backups is required the any one of the backup should be completed right so that is the difference between the incremental backup and a differential backup and a full db backup here so this is the condition will apply it here right so here suppose thursday you are creating the thursday you are create thursday again saturday you are taking the uh, differential backup here then it won't look the friday backup here always look the when was the last full backup is happened here again from here to here it will take the backup here it will take the backup here but sunday again you are taking the incremental backup then when was the last backup completed? Saturday. Then Saturday to up to here, this data backup will be taken. This backup will be taken. So different incremental backup always look the any backup previous, when was the last backup completed? Any backup. So it will look here. But differential backup, that differential backup, but differential backup will, uh, differential backup will with the, so differential backup always look the, differential backup always go for the so uh, last full backup when was the last full backup completed that is what we we need to check it out that one okay got it
clear right okay sir okay so now let's start with the now let's start with the uh, now let's start with the this one which one let's start with the how to take it out now like so every backup is a small to... question here yes uh, is it possible to take the offline backup like oracle no there is no offline backups here only online backups here when the system is online then only we have to take the backup so if system is down uh -huh. we cannot initiate the any backup here from here okay so yeah. all of the online yeah yeah only online So here, so right click on this one, right click on the system DB. So backups, we have to, tenant database related backups, we have to manage it from the system database itself only. Right click, go to the backup and recovery, just take the backup of the system database and tenant database. System database, nothing, there is no data, right? We can also take the backup of the system database. Tenant database also, we can take it out. Tenant means index server, access engine. System DB means name server. So only Three, three services backups, we have to take it out. Only data is available, only these three services. In that, tenant DB backup is the most important backup. Most important backup is the tenant database backup here. Right, so here you can see, so one more ten, two tenants we have created, right? So one more tenant also is there. So I want to take the tenant of the SDH, take the SDH. So click on the next button. So then you want to take the complete backup or differential backup or incremental backup. There are three types, right? So complete backup, right? Suppose if you want to take the incremental backup, this backup is required the incremental backup or differential backup required. The first one full backup is required. First one full backup is required. It could not completed. Why? Because it's required the previous full backup is required. So without taking the full backup for one time, without taking the full backup, how can we initiate the this backups here? How can we initiate the this backups here? Right? So backup here backup here so so taking the backup now so sdh so next so now you are taking the backup right so then you can change the backup path to the any drive or same drive or any drive you can change the backup path so i'm keeping the same by default path here complete backup always the backup backup physics is the complete here just click on the next button click on the finish button then the backup will follows now the backup will follows now here right you can see here the index server access engine that backup is getting the data backup is getting taken here so this is the maybe there is a bug or something this is not there here so only one tenant why because uh, each tenant we have only one tenant here so here see the tenant database backup is getting checked here so we can see the backup files at operating system level why because here, so we have the backup files are at operating system level here, tenant related. You can see the backup files here. So there is a, someone already taken under 24. Now again, complete database backup is taking now. This is the backup here, right? Complete database backup is taking, it is done. So two values were backed up here. The backup is done for you, right? So now, now if you take the incremental backup, after the full backup completed, so now what, what happened now? So now full backups is taken and the 2155 is done. Now, so 2155. Now after two minutes, if you take the backup, incremental backup, then in these two minutes, in these two minutes, whatever the data got backed up, so you can take that data. You can take the, that data here. You can take the, that data here, right? 
So that is the what we have to do it here in the system DB. Right click on the system DB here. Right. So backup and recovery. So backup of that in the database here. Backup of that in the database here. So here is DH, right? So next one, right? So now again, if you take that thing, well, incremental backup, any backup you can take it out. So that will not create any problem here, right? Incremental backup always with the INC. INC means incremental here. So we can take the backups here. We can take the backups here. So while doing the restore only, while doing the restore only, what we have to do, full backup, we have to take it out. Then, then after two minutes, again, you have taken the one more incremental backup. This backup also we have to take it out here. So it is completed very soon. Why? Because only last one minute data only. So that's why, why? Because 54, 55, we have completed the full database backup. Then one minute time, we have completed the incremental backup. Then it is a very less size, very less size here. So then we can... So take it out here. Uh, so this is the way just you can just check, you can check the backup catalog also here. Backup catalog here. Only data backup. This is the one. So log backups will run automatically. You know, we no need to manually take it out. Every 15 minutes, every 15 minutes, log, log backups will run. Every 15 minutes, the log backups will run here. Right? Every 15 minutes, the log backups will run. So here you can see. Tenant, tenant, right? So if we go to the tenant, SD1. So here we show the backup catalog. Every backup there is a folder, right? Here it will show the so when you have taken the backup, last backup, so the log backups, if you select it, all the log backups will be displayed here, right? So then what is the so delta backups you have taken, all the information will be displayed here. Delta backups and all the information will be displayed here. All the information will be displayed here. Right, so log backups you can see log backups will run automatically. So, log backups will run automatically here. So, why because it's automatic, log backup is the automatic. So, we can also so change that one. See here, see here, log backups here. So, every every 15 minutes, once or every 10 minutes or something, if there is a log backup sequence, is there you can see here, log backups are writing here automatically. It will take the log backup here. So, log backups will be uh it will be to recover to the up to that point in time recovery up to the time stamp we have to we need the log backups here we need the log back that is the purpose we have to do the log backups restore and recovery here right so this is the backup catalog this is the backup catalog information here right in the catalog it will show the summary when was the last backup completed right when was the last data backup when was the last log backup completed so what is the size so at what time how many minutes is taken so all the information will be displayed here all the information will be displayed in the systems here right this is about the backups right so based on this one so if you want to restore restore the data then we have to do it from here then up to here then again we need to restore the all the logs which, which what times what time stamp we have to restore it we have to recover the all the logs also we have to recover it here so right but because if you miss the one log the data will be gone you have, you have the data loss right so we need to carefully we need to take it out here so while doing the restore and while doing the backup while doing the backup here so you can see here right click and backup and recovery then backup of the system database backup of the system database here the backup of the system database here right so here you can just a complete database backup either backup type type is like 
either file or back int. Back int means it's third party. So there is a configuration is required here. Back int configuration is required here. Then configuration is required. Then you can take the, so just click on the button, then the backup, the data, the data folder backup will be taken here. So the data folder backup will be taken here. Hi, sir. I have one doubt. Yeah. So, uh, whenever we took the backup, sir, we, uh, for example, we took the backup for the tenant DB, right? In the OS level, we can see the three files, right? So, it, it, the process wise, the backup, backup was taken or? Right, right. Uh, process wise only. Underscore zero. So, it's kind of a name server, uh, index server. So, then access engine. Only the three values. So, zero underscore one, two underscore one. So underscore three, the process wise, the data will be backed up here. The data will be backed up here. So underscore two means it's a like kind of a tenant DB name server access engine. So some other process data will be backed up here. Some other process will be backed up here. So yeah, so, but the prefix is here. This is a complete data backup, data backup, complete, 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 INC data backup, INC, INC, complete, complete. That is the one. So, so sorry, sir. Uh, zero means index server. Uh, Not the zero means zero means it's a name server, name server backup here. So otherwise, if you see the go to the process list here. There is a 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. There is a uh, the series series of the service are there. Let me show you here. So daily basis. Daily basis, we have to take it out. Some organizations. So daily, daily they will go for the incremental or delta backup and the weekly full backup. That depends. If they have main more storage, they will go for that one. If you don't have that much of storage, they won't take it out here. So, but but if you see here, the backup. So here, underscore three, underscore three is for the index server only. Why? Because the file size is very huge here. The file size is the very huge. So this is the index server. So this is the name server and access engine. So like that, the process wise, it will take the backups here. If you go to the landscape tab, so here, so here zero zero is the diamond. 0, 01 is the name server, 0, 03 is the index server. So access engine is like a so 0, 07, 0, 07. So the process normally it will take the uh, index server, access engine, and uh, 0, 01 diamond, 0, 01, 0. So it's a like it will take the 0, like that it will take the backups here, 0, 01, 0. So zero two three. So every backup you have the same name in convention. Underscore zero, underscore zero, underscore one, two underscore one, three underscore one. Like that it will take the backups. Yeah. Manual backup or auto. So we can take it two ways, either manual or auto. So manual means so manual means so we have to manually do it from here. Automation means the so scripts. Or scripts we have to use it, or Ana Studio, uh, Ana Cockpit, we can use it. So, those things also we can take it out here. Yeah. So, so, we need to take a backup of system uh, DB plus tenant DB, right? DB. Yeah, yeah, both we have to take it out, but system DB is not that much of important because there is no data in the system DB. The only thing is we have to take it out the 
so the only thing is tenant daily tenant daily tenant is daily. Important, important yeah but i guess like uh, uh, like uh, is, is it possible to restore this tenant db without system db like yeah, yeah. suppose like no, yeah without restoring the tenant in the system database tenant only we can restart it we can restore it that part we will see we'll see tomorrow that part i will also explain it here uh, without system db like suppose like uh, uh, just like uh, for example if we have taken the backup of system db only so uh, we can restore it right yeah yeah uh, sorry not ten ten and db so suppose like we have just backup of ten and db so okay, can we restore it uh, simply with can we restore without system db backup right without system db yes yeah yeah, yeah that that's possible so system db ah, okay. need to restore it system db it's not there is no need of system db restore why because there is no uh, business data in the system db okay only yeah, yeah. It's, it's a platform yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. only tenant db we have to do restore it here so tenant okay. db we are, now nowadays we are doing more uh, restorals yesterday also i had done the one of the restore so only tenant db database we have taken backup and we are restoring it here system db is only for just for monitoring the tenants it's not it's not recommend it's not for like we can take it out we can restart the board system db tenant db but uh, there is no advantage there is no value at taking the system db restore and again mm -hmm. okay you can practice it for taking the backups multiple ways so create the some data tomorrow when we are doing the restore recovery restore and recovery that time we'll see the some other options creating the data so then we uh, so before the backup after the backup so take the backup create the some data users or something then take the one more uh, backup then we'll restore that backup whether the data is coming or not again we'll delete the data we'll do the some test cases we will run it tomorrow execution okay so meanwhile you can just create the some data and see 